Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Farm and Simulator 2013. And we are playing on the Northeast Iowa map here. And all our fields cultivated and plowed up. Should be one more tractor in the backfield here yet that needs to get going. Got our great big case Steiger. Actually, case quad track. 620. Let's see, I'm assuming he was going this way. Yeah, I did find out this guy with the, uh, at least with this disc anyway. Let's see if we follow him here, uh, maybe he'll do it. Ah, he's going really jerky for some reason, I'm not sure why that is. It's not lagging, he's just acting funny. Yeah, I don't know what he, he... It's like he can't make the turn. I don't know if it's because of this tractor or the disc or what. Probably something to do with articulation. If you walk along here, you can kind of see he's like zigzagging a little bit, you know, back and forth. I don't know why he's doing that, but... I did come back here with the other tractor, straightened it out once, and he's been doing okay since. Looks like I probably need to do that again. He's almost got it done, though. Anyway. Off screen... Let's see if I can find the tractor. Actually, not really the tractor, the truck. I went ahead and bought the Agavis Tenius uh, manure tanker here. Transport tanker, whatever you want to call this thing. I wonder if we can set a course plate course up for this. I just happened to think of that. Might have to move some stuff out of the way, though. Let me uh, try that. truck. It's not quite back to the truck, but close enough, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let's find a good... It's probably a little bit close to be starting a course. Try in there somewhere. Yes, it is showing the option to refill. Start the course recording. There's a lot of manure in there, so that's why I'm kind of thinking a uh, course play course for this actually might be uh, beneficial. Otherwise, I'm going to be doing this for quite a while. And while selling poo sounds like an exciting job, I shall uh, I shall pass on it. Now let's see. I think I remember now. It's the load on this side or that side. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully I can just drive past this and that'll be good. Yeah, I don't think that was good. Okay. I might have to come around the other way and maybe try that. Oh, I didn't mean to stop it. I actually managed to re-up. Oh, well. I meant to pause it. Uh, back discharge. Let's do a side discharge. Will that help? Yeah, it's okay. So I should have set it to side just charge, and I might have been okay. Okay. Let's try that again, then. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure this will work or not. I've never tried this. Just happened to think of that. I was going to, you know, start doing this. I was like, hey, you know what? Course play might just be able to do it. Get in nice and close here.
There's the unload point. Excellent. Okay. Just save that as cell liquid poo. And transfer, yeah, that should be the right. Unless it's going to be, let's see, this is the transfer mode. Which one is this? The manure, it might be this one, maybe. Manure transporter. Let's try that one. That might actually be too few waiting points. One needed. Okay. Let's just try the transfer course then. See what's if that'll work. If it needs a waiting point, I know I'm pretty sure I know where it needs it. It needs it over by the uh, cell point there. Although the only thing I not sure then if he would actually uh, automatically empty it. Anyway, off screen, I did do some other things too. Um, I actually recorded the last two. Whoa, what the? <laughs> okay, I just got ran over. Oh well. Anyway, I was about to say, uh, last two episodes, I kind of recorded them almost back to back. And, uh, yeah, these oats here, as you know, my uh, case combine would not harvest them. So I did some uh, research and looking into it with the help of you, some of your guys' comments and uh, some little uh, uh, searching. Don't think he sold it. That was awfully fast selling. Yeah, he did not sell it. Oh, well. I could try the liquid uh, transporter, but I think it's going to do the same thing if I had a guess. Okay, where's the unload point here? Had it last time. Maybe that's the problem. He didn't get the unload point. Yeah, I don't know why. Maybe it's just me, but it seems like... Oh, there it is. Seems like it is tricky sometimes to get the uh, unload point. Uh, I think you're missing it there, buddy. Oh, well. Well, I guess actually I'm driving it this time, so okay. I think it keeps on loading if I'm not uh, in there. Yeah. So anyway, I did some uh, looking into the multi-fruit script. And it uh, turns out, if I got this correct, and I think I do because it is working now, I can use my uh, case combine, the one from the DLC, to actually harvest those oats there. So I think that was oats there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was oats there, if I remember correctly. I uh, hauled it out and uh, tried it, and yes, I can actually harvest these here. Or I harvested, actually, I think it was the bit that was in here that's now been uh, cultivated under. We can cultivate it under. Where is he at? Still going around, I guess. And you decided to quit. Why, we're not exactly sure, but uh, I guess that's uh, what you expect of a hired worker, huh? Okay, let's hire him again. Anyway, the multi-fruit script, if you go on Mod Holster and find the multi-fruit script, there's a couple different versions. I don't recall which one I was actually using at the time that it wasn't working, but now that I have it working, and I read this on a forum post. You have to have Multifruit version 2.0 standard and the version 2.1. Both in your mod folder at the same time. They are named differently, so you can you know, put them both in there without a problem. They're not both named the same. I think the one is like ZZ Multifruit standard. And the other one's like ZZ Add Fruit or something like that. I don't remember the exact name of the mods again, but yeah, if you download them off a mod hoster, which is where I got them from, you'll need two of them. You'll need the multi-fruit 
2.0 standard and the Multifruit 2.1. Both in the mod folder at the same time. Not exactly sure why that is, but uh, that is what it needs. So, and at least for me, it is working now. At least with the oats, anyway. Obviously, I don't have much planted at the moment, so I can't really test it further than that. Ah, uh, what do we got for comments? Actually, probably the last two episodes. Like I said, I recorded both of them pretty much back to back, so. Ah, uh, this will be episode 27. Uh, Noah said I should get a different baler. Doesn't think the uh, baler I have currently is realistic. That is my uh, Lily Wiggler baler. Uh, this actually is a real baler, and the uh, wrapper piece on the back is real as well. Uh, as far as it's a uh, realistic, uh, at least the way it works in the game, you're probably correct on that bit. It's probably not completely realistic in that sense. But uh, as far as all the functions of the bale goes, it is real. It does wrap the bales as it goes, so. And I actually seen a bale or something like that uh, here last week as well. Uh, down at our local uh, tractor dealership, they've got a class baler that has some type of wrapper on the back that can actually uh, wrap the bales. Yeah, this thing's been very picky with its... Ah, uh, there it is. Seems like it, uh... Even really close, I guess. Uh, the Beast was asking if I can get some uh, farm alls and haul them back on a cane trailer or a PGA trailer for baling. Uh, I do not, I don't think I have the cane or the PGA trailer. I do have the Agus Tenius one. Uh, I did sell that one, though, because of the lag. That was one of the uh, tractors I blamed, or one of the trailers I blamed for the lag, so I got rid of that one. Uh, I was forgetting farm alls. Uh, I don't know. We're a little bit bigger farms. I don't think there actually are any bigger farm alls that I know of that I have anyway. I've got 1206, 560. Yeah, they're all in the 100 horsepower. I don't think there's any other ones. So probably not on that one. Okay, let's uh, see what's here. Grab this tractor here. We'll start. Uh, we're also going to need four-wheel drive mode. I found out with this cultivator. An extra weight helps, too, if we can turn that on. Talk about six. There we go. I believe this field is all done. Actually, what fields do I have left to do yet? Ah, uh, just that one there. So, okay, actually, I am almost done. Okay. Well, I guess I can cultivate this field then. Don't necessarily have to cultivate it, but uh, I will. It's been uh, plowed. Although technically plow has just been dissed with our uh, plowing disc or whatever you want to call that thing, I guess. Uh, Deridri, I think that's how you say your name. Uh, there's a he said there's a combine on LS2013 I should get. It's the I think that was a Case 2388. I didn't go uh, check that combine out. Wow, that looks like a lot of controls on that combine. Uh, I do have it. Maybe I might uh, might have to get it yet. We'll see once. Uh, comment from Ian Robinson. He was saying he's having trouble with a multi foot mod as well. So yeah, like I said in the beginning there, it, uh, you have to have a multi fruit version 2.0 standard and then the multi fruit 
and they're uh, both available on Mod Hoster. Uh, they're on the same page. Uh, you know, if you folks are familiar with Mod Hoster, it'll usually give you uh, multiple versions of the same mod for download. So yeah, you want to select both of those and download both of them. Uh, Tim says I should get rid of a Massey Ferguson and get a Case 7130. I don't think I have a Case 7130. I got a 5130. I don't think I got a Case 7130, though. We could possibly get the 5130, though. That's not a bad-looking tractor. Doesn't say what its uh, horsepower is, though. That's eh, not an issue, I guess. It doesn't really matter, but... Uh, I also got a comment from John. He was saying try and use uh, Multi-Fruit version 1.0. Yeah, it worked for him. Everything after that has errors. That's probably because most people don't know, at least like me, that you actually have to have both files to actually make the mod work. I yeah, I think that most of that uh, mod hoster there is in German, I'd like to say, so it's not like you can actually read it. And you know, Maybe it actually does tell you you need to have both of them. I'm not sure. But I don't recall seeing anywhere it does actually say you have to have both of them. Of course, that's because I can't really read most of what it says anyway, but... Okay, I think that was most of the comments from the last episode. Actually, the episode before that, I should say. Okay, first comment I have. Um, you ex actually expect me to read that name? My goodness. Uh, let's, I'll give this a try. I love to play MC and Crackling RS Gaming and more. That is his name. That is quite the name. Uh, says he likes the videos. So well, thank you. Watch where I'm going and read the comments at the same time here. This should be interesting. Uh, Craft Farms said that I says I should do the Missouri map off of AEM. The map is pretty cool. I think I checked that map out, if I remember correctly. Uh, Craft Farms also says I should put a tractor on the auger when we're unloading. Now that would actually make sense now that you uh, say that. I don't know, is there actually a spot to put the tractor on there? I have to look at that. Yeah, normally an auger like that, well, depending on the auger, could be, you know, run off electrical too, but a lot of times you'll hook it up to the PTO of a tractor, and that is uh, what will run your auger. Uh, Matt says I should get a case of Steiger. Uh, I've got two of them already, actually. Well, are Steiger or Quadtrax? I think that 350 is a Steiger. I guess they're all Steigers. I did uh, reply back to him, asked him which one. I think there's uh, some further comments on about that one. Uh, Blake says I should get the big Canada map. Yeah, I've looked at that map. That's kind of a big, flat map, in my opinion. Not uh, not a whole lot of detail, really, I didn't think. Be a nice, a big multiplayer map, that's for sure. Uh, Blake also sent me another map as well, the uh, Casamass uh, Farm or something like that. That one looked uh, fairly nice. Uh, he 
thought it came with a soil mod. I don't think it does. I looked at that one. I don't see any indication of the soil mod on it. It's definitely a nice looking map, though. Yeah, I think this tractor is definitely lacking a little in the uh, power department for pulling this disc, it seems like. Uh, Tubby was saying I should get a row track. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know which one you mean there. That's that uh, funky looking one. Uh, Charlie was saying I need the multi-fruit script to work on the DLC combine. Uh, yes, I did have the multi-fruit script. I just didn't have it. Uh, I'm thinking I just had one. I'm not sure which one I had again. I just deleted it all out. Well, that was interesting. I think there was something there. Huh. <laughs> like there's something there too. Yeah, I just deleted all the uh, multi fruit or the only multi fruit script I had in out. I got rid of it completely and uh, started completely fresh. Put in the uh, multi fruit 2.0 standard and the multi fruit 2.1. So working now. Uh, Charlie was also saying I should check out the uh, modern American farming map on AEM. You'd add the soil mod to it though if I want to, so possibility. I don't think as of yet I've really got any uh, vote one way or another on what map we should do next. Everybody's pretty much uh, suggesting different maps, so. Uh, the Beast says I should check out South Dakota. I believe that is also a American Eagle modding map if I remember correctly. Uh, Tim says I should get a quad track. Noah says the Missouri map. Okay. And Cole says the South Dakota map. And the Detter line. I guess that's how you say that. Get the whole manure spreader off of SF FSUK. Yeah, I went and checked those out. Those are some uh, fairly nice looking manure spreaders, I thought. I think I put them in the game. Uh, it'd probably be under... Probably under the slurry, yes. The 79, the 61, and the 4000. I've actually seen... Uh, I'd like to say it was this one maybe in our area. Maybe it was this one. I bet I think I'm thinking it was this one I actually seen. Got a farmer in our area that has one of these. It's either this one or this one. I know it's got a lot of tires on it, so I'm thinking it's either one of these two, probably. Or maybe they've got some different model sizes in between there too, I'm not sure, but I'd like to say it had four tires on it, so. Okay, and I think that was all the comments from last episode. <laughs> this time it was the last episode. Let's, uh... I did ask you guys last time what tractor we should get, and... Based on your comments, someone said get a quad track. And someone said get a row track. So I think we can combine both of these and get a quad track, row track. Uh, this is, uh, I don't know, this is a funny looking tractor in my opinion. Uh, let's see, do we want to get another tractor while we're at it? 500 with triples. Which, yeah, we got uh, we got plenty of money. Let's buy that one too. Let's sell our 350 then. Oh, they're on sale. Wait a minute. Are all the ones I just... You know, bought not on sale. Yeah, go figure. Looks like all the ones I just bought are not on sale. Okay. Okay, whatever. Okay, own. Oh, let's find our 350. Yeah, 350. Let's uh, sell that one. 
Oh, that one is on sale. Okay. Let's check out our new tractors here. Ah, yes, this is the one with the triples on it. I figure we'll maybe hook this up to our planter. That's a fairly nice looking tractor. Again, I think it's just the in-game tractor. And someone's, you know, stuck some different tires on it. And, you know, stuck the 500 on it. Kind of disappointing, you know, it's like... Of course, uh, real life too, I think they are pretty much the same, but... Yeah, if you were to buy all these tractors, line them up next to each other, they all look the same. Except for the tires. Now, this one's just plain weird looking. <laughs> look at them narrow little tires on there. Oh, man. Also a 500, isn't it? Okay. I must like 500s, apparently. Actually, you know what? It might make more sense to have this on a planter. No, not really, because that's not a uh, roll crop planter. I guess we should uh, check out roll crop planters to go with it, maybe. Let's see. What do I have for roll crop planters? Got that one. That would be a case. That would actually go good with this tractor, wouldn't it? Uh, we got the John Deere one. Oh, we got this one, too. This is also a John Deere. I think this is a fairly new one that came out a while back. I don't think it's that big, though. I'm thinking we get the John Deere... <laughs> well, it's not John Deere. It's the Case JD1760. Oh, okay, it's case 1265, they call it down here. Okay. Their name's a little messed up. Uh, I forget which way it goes again. They just reskinned one of these. I think the John Deere is the original one, and they reskinned it to a case, if I remember correctly. Either that, it was the case one, and they reskinned it to John Deere. It went one of those ways. I was also, uh, planner wise, I was thinking about getting a different planner. Try this one here. This is like an all-in-one type of planner. And maybe we'll sell our Bergolt one. I don't know, maybe we'll just save this one for next season too, I'm not sure. Anyway, I think we'll get that planner then. Why not? I'm not a particular fan of these, but not bad either. They just got some uh, like clipping issues and stuff going on with them. Oh, that was an <laughs> interesting connect there. Okay, now is it uh, stuck in the ground? I can't actually... No, it doesn't look like it is. Okay. A lot of times when you buy these particular planters, they're stuck in the ground a lot of the times, so... Doesn't... Yeah, no, it's not this time. Okay, that's good. Now, if I remember correctly, I think you can refill this at the normal seed point. If I can actually get this planter in there, that might be interesting. And I, I don't think we're even going to try. Got my seed trailer sitting right here. Let's just go, uh... Try not to mess them up too badly. Okay, I got one mounted on the front. Yeah, we'll just ride... Oh, ride the hitch over, I guess. Okay. You know what? Easier way of doing it. Let's pull it out here and do it. Ooh, missed the mailbox. Excellent. Uh, yes, for next season. So yeah, let me go in, guys, or let me know again what you guys think on maps. At this point, I'm kind of leaning towards the Land of Italy map, just because it has the soil mod built into it. Saves me the time of uh, not having to add it. And as for mods, I'm thinking we're going to go with a uh, blue theme on the next map. So that's why I haven't not uh, purchased the any New Holland track or any more New Holland tractors. I know a couple of you guys have suggested get New Holland tractors. 
But like I said, I think we're going to try to go with like a blue theme next season. Oh, I should have picked up the uh, seed trailers on the way over here. Oops. Got our old Massey Ferguson 3080. That just, yeah, those weights are appearing and disappearing on the front. That's weird. I wonder what's up with that. Yeah, you kind of look up and they disappear. Interesting. Okay, I think the refill point was actually on the back of these, if I remember correctly. Move planter closer to trailer, yeah. I think that's one of the reasons I didn't like these things. They're, like, really hard to fill up. Okay, I do have the cedar. Yes, I do have the cedar selected. Uh, this could be the one, too, that actually... Need, I'm pretty sure I could actually refill this from a seed point, if I remember correctly. I know there's a couple of them that need to be uh, actually refilled from actual corn corn. Oh, well. I think we'll uh, deal with that next time, though. It looks like it's time to call an episode again, so... I will uh, continue cultivating and plowing up our fields. Almost have them done. Just got the two left, so... Should go back to this one. Oh, yes. Looks like our Alice Chalmers is doing a good job. Our Steiger is probably not. Yeah, he quit again. Anyway, folks, if you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching, and till next time.